Okay, so starting where we left off in the last video, what we did was just uh, add Tailwind CSS by using this Svelte Adders, uh, Svelte Add command. So now let's have a look at MD specs in this video. So again, just like before, I can do MP uh, MPX Svelte Add MD specs, and this will add some whatever boilerplate we need for this here. So npm install. So now we have this MD specs.config.cjs, common JS. And it gave us some examples right here. We've got example.svx and example.md. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure the difference between svx and md um, ending in this case. But basically, it lets us write markdown in our components. Um, or rather, it lets us put svelte into our markdown. Maybe that's a better way to say it. So for example, here at example.svx, you can see we have a script tag, and um, we have all this MDX or all this uh, markdown stuff, but you can also add in some functionality with um, Svelte, kind of like this. So let's take a look. Uh, here's example.mark-markdown.md. Uh, um, this is just markdown, no Svelte. Let's open this up and play around with it. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so we open that up here, and now you'll see it even modified this, so that we have a link to it, um, the example markdown. So you can change this to SVX if you want. Um, I think that's the preferred thing to do. I'm not 100% sure, but by having SVX, it knows that this is an MD specs uh, file. So let's look at the docs. So we've already done all this. Basically, Svelte Add did that for us. Now you'll see here we can have layouts. So this is the coolest part, I think, of uh, using MD specs, this layout thing. So to have a layout, so um, for example, if I want to wrap this example dash markdown svx in a layout. What I can do is create one up here in lib or anywhere you want. So um, I'm just going to call it uh, blog layout.svelte and it'll need a slot. And let's just wrap it in like, so I'm using uh, tailwind.container. Um, let's see if I can remember. Max w extra large dot mx auto dot bg blue 300. Okay, so we've got a container, and this will sort of be our uh, blog layout. Then here in mdspecs.config, we can come in here and add a layout property, and it'll be called blog, and then we do the path to where we find this layout. So it's this one here, blog layout, um, dot slash source slash lib slash blog layout dot svelte. Okay, and now in here, example dash markdown dot svx, we can add it up here. So do, 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 oops, not that, dash, 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 and we say layout blog, like that. Okay, so come back to here, and because we changed the MD specs config, we're gonna have to rerun this. So let's do that again, and let's go to our example slash markdown, and now we've got a background. Okay, so this is because I added the container and um, a max width and a background like that. Um, so now you can use markdown. So for me, I always kind of wondered how do I write content in a good way and then put it into my HTML. Well, now you can just write your markdown. Uh, it's it's much easier. Like so, like uh, today I learned SV. Wait, I always forget. Um, MD specs. Okay, and then, so today I had a wonderful day, but blah, blah, blah. I don't have to write paragraph tag and I don't have to write like all these, all these kind of clunky uh, things like that. Okay, so that's how you get a layout, um, but then let's look at some other functionality. So another cool thing is I can just add a script to my .svx files and you'll see um, it's not really giving me much uh, completion or color there. I don't think. Yeah, I wonder if it's better to return to MD. Then we get some of that there. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Let me know in the comments if you know a good way to get nice highlighting. Um, but for example, I can now import a counter. So I could import counter from dot slash or um, lib slash counter oops, dot svelte like that. And then I can just put that right here, counter. Okay, now if I go back here, you'll see I have this counter component in my markdown. That is pretty cool. So it really gives you like a good way to, um, oh, by the way, this is 
H1, uh, it's small because of um, tailwind. That's why it's not having that. It doesn't look bigger. But I could add, you know, since this is basically like a salt component, I could add a style and say like all H1s are going to have um, add apply. So this is a tailwind CSS thing. Add apply um, text extra large or something. I think that's what it's called. Let me see. Uh, yeah, so it's a little bit bigger now. Anyway, so I can do that, and I can put Svelte components. So it's basically best of both word, uh, worlds. So anyone writing content can like use Markdown to do their content, and um, at the same time, you can you have like the full range of Svelte at your disposal. You can just insert little components wherever you want, and it's perfect for you know building a blog or something that is content driven. Okay, so that's all for this video. You'll just have to play around with it a bit more to get a feel for it. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments.